a motion that we send uh, our uh, contracted independent auditor, Mr. Fields, to the NACO conference along with Mr. Gibbon. Uh, that second. way. Is there a second? I'll make a second. Next on the agenda we have is the issue of problematic mental health issues posed to our city and the excess amount of resources put forth to address a very specific issue, or should I say, very specific person. Chief Harding has privately expressed to me the significant amount of resources used towards this particular situation and the toll it took on the previous chief. Ultimately, he doesn't want his stint as chief to be maligned by overspending towards hazmat teams, as was his predecessor. In essence, the concern is that the previous chief, this chief and all chiefs will fail as long as this is ignored. The previous chief was unduly burdened and ultimately held responsible for not dealing with this situation head on. Chief Harding doesn't want to have his administration handcuffed uh, or held back from address, addressing major issues um, in this city to deal with the inane ramblings of what might be described as a mental midget. We've encouraged relocation, but they're on the lease. We've initiated mental health teams to intervene who ultimately felt that he was hopeless. While I know uh, that the Jalen Walker situation cost our taxpayers a great sum in settlements, eliminating this person by any means necessary seems like a necessary step at this point in time and would critically impact our bottom line and reputation as a city.